to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another Grim Soul survival video and on this video I'm going to show you the most efficient and cheapest way to kill the Oiza bows. And also huge thanks to Grim Hex and uh, Serginho about the guide and the footage that I'm gonna use on this uh, video. So first we're gonna start how you can spawn the location. So first thing that you're gonna need to do is to clear all levels of Forsaken Virgin and kill the Isenborg. And then the Isenborg will drop a unique uh, wooden horse and you can use that horse to spawn the Aza boss location. So after you get the wooden horse, go to your base and go to your campfire and then tap this icon here that uh, you can see on the screen. Now I'll see the Isabos uh, stats and also say what equipment you'll need to take there. So Isabos have a 1.7k HP, 330 armor and also 90 base damage. And also she have a lot of special uh, skills. The first skill is the insta kill but can insta kill you and there's a high chance for that to happen. So you'll need to get less hit from her. She can control you or chant you for a few seconds and she will hit you, but you can stop that by using a bow. Where she steps, uh, she leaves uh, toils or cracks the ground, and if you step on that uh, cracked ground, uh, you'll get uh, 30 damage. And uh, she restores uh, 255 HP or 50% of her HP when you die. And also she can spawn two skeletons and also two Nagwest. And also there are two different debuffs what you will get when you enter on the Aza boss location. The first debuff is the armor durability debuff and when you get hit the durability will get used 3 times or 2 times more faster. And also the weapons durability debuffs when you use uh, weapons the durability will be used uh, 3 times or 2 times more faster like the armor debuff. Now let's move on what uh, equipment you'll need there and then the strategy to kill her. And science armor isn't that important there, you can take a tier 3 hat and pants. And also a tier 5 uh, chest armor and boots. And I won't suggest you to take uh, lower than tier 5 boots because uh, speed is important there. But uh, about the chest armor you can also take a tier 4 uh, chest armor. And about healing, take uh, two stacks of Barrel of Anis and uh, three stacks of Cooked Leaks. And also two Setepeter Tin Stores. And I wouldn't suggest you to go there without uh, two or one Setepeter Tin Stores because if you die, the battle or the fight becomes even more expensive. And about the weapons, uh, these four uh, weapons are the best weapons to use there. Take two Halberds uh, or two claymores. If you don't wanna use these two, you can use uh, two poison daggers or two war hammers since these uh, two weapons do true damage. And take a torch or a flaming sword to scare the away the night west uh, what the Aza uh, bow spawns. And take a light crossbow about bats and 30 traps about the strategy or the battle. And also take uh, a bow to block the chant special attack of uh, Aza and uh, about uh, 3 scroll of uh, terrors and I'm gonna explain that later why you'll need them. Now let's move into the final part of the video which is the strategy to kill the Aza bows or how to kill the Aza bows. So when you enter you'll need to have uh, activated the heavy strike skill or the stone strike skill, if you have a stunning strike skill, uh, equip a halberd or claymore and use the stunning strike skill and stun her and then hit her a few times. If you have the heavy strike skill, uh, equip the bow and use uh, the heavy strike skill on her, like Serginho did on this uh, video or in the start. Then start uh, placing down all 13 traps or uh, just uh, 25 traps first. And then if you can kill her with the 25 traps, then start placing the 5 other traps what you have. This will take you a while, so that's why you'll need a few stacks of food uh, to do this. You aren't gonna use all the food, but uh, you'll just use some. 
and when you're done placing all the traps uh, lure her to the traps and once she get trapped uh, hit her three times with a halberd or claymore and then bring her to the next trap so do this over and over till you kill her I wouldn't uh, suggest you to hit her more than uh, three times if you aren't using mandric potion because uh, if you hit her four times without mandrakes uh, she can attack you and that attack can be a insta kill for you if you use magic potions then you can attack her four times and then move uh, to the next trap and like you see she can spawn two night quests so that's why you'll need to take a flaming sword or torch to scare them away and also skeleton so you can use the flaming sword to one shot them and also Isa sometimes will use her chant attack or control attack where she will control you and you can do anything. So when you see her or when you hear her that she's starting her attack, uh, switch to your bow and hit her. This will make her to stop that attack and you won't get uh, controlled by her and get hitted. And then when you are almost killing her, put uh, your crossbow on your extra pocket and also the scroll of terror on your pocket. Then scare the bats away, reload the crossbow and hit the bats. Then do the same thing again three times till you kill her. If you use uh, scroll of terrors, you will use uh, less food and uh, you won't waste a lot of food on the bats. And also if you try to escape the bats, uh, leave the map uh, you can because the gate won't open till you kill the bats so yeah that's going to be all about this video guys hope you enjoyed and also please don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe so yeah goodbye and see you guys next time peace out